Recovery narratives as we use them in the Bachelor of Science of Psychiatric Nursing program at Brandon University in the province of Manitoba is they're actually attached to a very specific assignment in the fourth year of our program. We teach students to become psychiatric nurses. The recovery narrative assignment in the fourth year is our students are um, partnered with a ind individual participant who's living in the community of, of Winnipeg who has a severe and persistent mental health challenge. So over the course of the, over the term of the course, so the course is three months, our students are expected to meet weekly with the participant approximately one hour a week and their main role is to listen, is to listen to the individual. Our students are given a guideline of uh, areas in which they can question the participant about, but it's really hearing the participant's story about living their life with a mental illness. And at the end of listening and asking questions, the students are taking notes and at the end, they produce a 20 to 25 page recovery narrative, which is the individual's story. Uh, the individual uh, then evaluates it, and with depending on the individual's consent, their story can be shared if they want it shared with other mental health professionals, or it's just theirs. They're given a copy. I, as the prof, read them because then, uh, then I mark them. Um, but uh, that's how that's how the assignment is in in the course. Uh, assignment really helps our students. Number one, reduce stigma reduce their own professional stigma. And number two, it helps the students build empathy. Therefore, then they are better able to identify with people as they're human. They are like their parents. They are like their brothers, their sisters. They are us, we are them. So they become less, students are then less likely to label and to see these people as just individuals like themselves and they can work collaboratively and help hopefully when in practice treat them as humans just like themselves and help work out a treatment process for them. For psychiatric nurses the main essence of our role is the therapeutic relationship and part of the therapeutic relationship is to listen and I say effectively listen, because we all use the word, oh, we listen, but we don't always listen. So it's a way of just totally focusing in on what the other person is saying, and that my questions and responses come from what the person has said in the moment, and we and I listen to that and I ask maybe ask more questions. So some of the questions our students uh, are guided to ask about are things like, uh, how what has been your experience with your mental illness? What are you looking for in the future? What are you anticipating in the future? What's been your experience as the, your mental health or mental illness has impacted on you with your family and social networks? Myself as a prof would say to the students, it's be, uh, do the evaluation every time with your client. Like say, I got this from you last week. Did I take down correctly? Have I understood you correctly? Is this what you meant when you said whatever. And so by the end of it, they the students then go back and they write and they produce a story. And the clients, the clients, uh, when uh, we evaluated the program of uh, this, sorry, this um, assignment, the clients really liked it. Uh, they felt it was important to participate because they benefited from it. They felt it was almost like a form of therapy. They also felt that they were being allowed to uh, enhance the student's education and to better inform mental health practitioners. And the work we'd like to see happen is that these recovery narratives then get adapted and or adopted in the clinical settings so that practitioners can uh, have conversations, dialogues with their clients and families and uh, from there by listening and having dialogues they can develop uh, collaborative treatment processes that are better able to fit the needs of clients and families rather than the needs of practitioners and the medical health system. 
uh, hopefully because we teach this in, in our education that our students when they become graduate nurses, psychiatric nurses will go out and they will incorporate some of this into their practice, such as spending more time with their clients on intake, asking more questions, making more, getting to know their clients and finding out what kinds of things they're looking for in treatment, what they're not looking for, what might work for them, what might not, what's worked well in, in the past, what hasn't worked, all those kinds of conversations. So I'm hoping that this can help build, re build relationships and help build the frame and the lens for really inclusion of individuals and their families.